Hi everybody, it's uh, SmoshRock619 or Andrew or Superfast Dalu, depending on what you're talking about. And this is my first gameplay commentary video. So, as you can see, it's going to be a game of domination on the map Quarry from Modern Warfare 2. And I am using a class with the Scar H, Magnum with Tack Knife, Scavenger Pro, Stopping Power Pro, and Commando Pro. Now the main reason I'm using Commando Pro this match, and in general really, is because I prefer having not dying from full damage. Not because I like the lunges in the game, because I don't think many people like that. But yeah, the main point of this video wasn't really to talk about the gameplay, because, you know, that's been done to death. And nobody really likes hearing about it. But this part was actually kind of interesting. I managed to catch the B flag pretty easily. And I'm not exactly sure how that happened. <laughs> but I'm going to take it as a win anyway. But yeah. Anyway, this gameplay isn't... This commentary here, sorry. Isn't meant to be about the gameplay. Because it's been done to death, as I was saying. This is more of an introduction to who I am. And so on because this is my first gameplay commentary video and so yeah so my name in uh, real life is Andrew I'm 17 years old and as you can tell from my accent by now I'm not from America but rather in fact I live I'm come from England um, the south southern England to be more precise so that explains my accent. Um, so yeah, I'm 17. Um, at the moment, I'm at college, and I am doing a qualification in IT, two-year course. So that after that, oh, sorry about the commando lunge there. <laughs> and um, after I finish this course, so I, it's just coming up to the end of the first year. I finish for the sum on the 1st of July, but after next year I'm going to try to find a full-time job in IT, so hopefully this will be the right course for me. And just then the game was lagging slightly, the wonders of Modern Warfare 2 matchmaking. But yeah, um, so hopefully I want to become a programmer or a software developer in IT and I know that sounds pretty much the same thing but I find that sort of stuff in IT really interesting uh, I've had a pretty normal life I mean I've lived in a quiet area in England um, from when I was about three and then I moved when I was uh, 14, coming on uh, just before I turned 15. Uh, I I done okay school-wise. I managed to get good GCSE marks. I've managed to get okay SATs marks. You know, basic background to my life. But with this commentary. This is just me starting out and what I need to do, and if anybody has any ideas, I need a niche, a, a selling point, to say, that sets me out from the rest of the other commentators, because each commentator has their own playstyle or unique niche, like for example, uh, Tabe, Swedish. People like Wings of Redemption, Sandy Ravage, they're really good players. But with me, I'm uh, not Swedish. I'm European, but not Swedish. Uh, um, and I'm pretty much crap at <laughs> Call of Duty. So that isn't. So I can't be like them. I've had a couple of ideas. Um, one of them being that you recommend me a class and each and then I try to get a good game with a class and then put it up as a, another video on my YouTube channel that sort of stuff you know uh, I keep saying um, I have, I'm sorry 
But yeah, oh yeah, this point here in the game. Sorry about this. Um, I only just realised at this point in the game that I could spawn trap, and then I pick up uh, quite a nice kill streak for me. I think it's about a five kill streak. Yep, you see, there's a double kill there, which I was lucky to get. And then we wait a second. But yeah, the main reason I'm not good at these games is because I'm a run and gunner. Um, my I don't really mind about my kill to death. I just play for fun rather than competition. So I guess that could be sort of a niche, I guess. But if any of you have any ideas, uh, give me a shout in the comments and I'll try to see which ones are the best and then I'll try to utilize them and give you a credit. And I just realized that was an awkward silence, I'm sorry. At this game, at this point in the game, everything kind of went weird. The sport, the, we kept catching the B flag and then the A flag and then the B flag and so on. But yeah, if you have any ideas whatsoever, uh, give me a shout in the comments, and then you know I'll try to see if they'll work. And the way that I'm going to make my videos is I'm gonna do I'm going to do alternating. At the moment, I'm gonna be alternating between one video on Modern Warfare 2 and then a video on Black Ops, and then switch it back around. Oh, got an AC-130 in my care package for once. Nice change. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to make a video of Modern Warfare 2, and then a video of Black Ops, and then another video of Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops and so on, so that people, so that there is some sort, well, not really variety, because uh, every a lot of people say that all of the Call of Duties are just pretty much the same rehashed thing, so I can't really say it's a lot of, a change of scenery, if anything. <laughs> But yeah, probably my next video is going to probably be a video of me using the Scorpion on Black Ops. And I'll probably try to get a match recorded where it utilizes the many assists you get with it. Because it, you never seem to get many kills with that gun. Which is a shame, because it was my favorite gun on Call of Duty 4. But then Black Ops kind of... Oh, I think that was a no scope or something there. Yeah. Uh, but Black Ops sort of messed up the Scorpion. It's not bad, it's just I remember loving it on the Call of Duty 4, and now it's nowhere near the same on Black Ops, so that's a shame. So, at this point in the game, I realised that even if we just captured one flag, we would win anyway, so... I was just, I didn't really mind if we only kept one flag. But yeah, this game's actually pretty rare for me because I went positive for once. So if there, oh, also, um, if there's any topics you want me to talk about in any of my videos, post it down below. And then I'll try to make a video talking about the topics that you pick even if I have no idea about them. Make it as interesting or diverse as you want and then I'll try to get back to you about that. Not only do I have a channel on YouTube where I'll post videos but I also have a live stream which I'm, I'll be doing every other weekend so my next one will be on the 1st of July, hopefully on a Friday, yeah, well, the 1st of July is, I'm sorry, <laughs> weekend starting the 1st of July, hopefully, I don't know, maybe 7 o'clock GMT, uh, which is the English time, Greenwich Mean Time, so what I'll do is I'll link a description, I'll link, put a link in the description below about my streaming channel, and I'll put a link below my Facebook page so that you can go on it and be notified when I make new videos 
So my stream name and my oh there was a sorry that <laughs> that was me being pretty stupid there. But yeah, my uh, stream is called Crazy European Guy, and I will try to do game request. Oh, and this is the end of the game here. I will try to do game requests if you give me enough warning, and of course if I have the game. So you see there, 27 to 15 top of the leaderboard because I captured the objectives and uh, yeah thank you for watching I'll leave the description below